yeah peoples go for the next one it is permanent magnet stepper motor before enter to this thing just recall about the previous stepper motor in previous title we covered about variable reluctant stepper motor in that you keep in this keep in remain about this point the first one is in that the rotor part is made up of ferromagnetic material and it is not in a smooth cylindrical it is a salient pole structure then the step rotation of that particular motor is only by a reluctance force which means of a interaction between a magnet and a iron piece a rotor part is considered as a iron and stator part is a magnet by exiting by a controller now uh, you know about this thing so what is the uh, force which is achieved between magnet and iron it's only a attraction so with this aspect now come to this title now the permanent magnet stepper motor the same thing the title is same it is one of the stepper motor uh, it's rotate like a step it has some step angle that step angle is be, depend on the uh, materials and it is also it is also made by with some certain resolutions everything is same the thing the stator for the stator part of the stepper motor this permanent magnet stepper motor is similar to the previous title so nothing is there just imagine the same thing a stator part is there uh, i have a same setup of coil groups and uh, nothing differed here but the main thing is rotor here the rotor is made up of a perfect magnetic material a permanent magnetic material and it is in a smooth cylindrical structure see the diagram the rotor it is in a smooth cylindrical and it has a poles two poles is there north and south hence it is called as permanent magnet stepper motor now it's rotate like a step by step just discuss the content one by one go with that functions the first mode of operation is nothing but a single phase on it is nothing but a full step now assume this machine has the stator part has only a four poles and the rotor part having only a two poles as per concern something the state the rotor poles are lesser than stator poles so it's it's nothing but issue now image the image is this thing uh, the stator part has only a two coil one is a and another one is b so that a group is defined as a1 and a2 then b group is defined as b1 and b2 now you have to uh, understand this content which means of here the stator when i give the power supply the stator is uh, electromagnet it will start after excited it is a magnet then a rotor is a permanent magnet now the same thing the force has been produced in a step process but the force is occurs between a two magnet here the stator is also a magnet rotor is also a magnet hence you know about this thing now a force between a two magnet may be a repulsion or may be a attraction so because of this variation we had a polarity concerns here so we need to describe the same methods in the polarity process so just see the diagram the first one the first diagram shows i'm going to give the power supply to the a winding which means of the power supply is given by positive to the a negative to the a2 positive to the a1 and negative to the a2 on this concern it will, rotor will arise on that position <clears throat> that means uh, in stator north and rotor south is attracted in below uh, rotor south and uh, stator north is attracted on this position now what what i'm going to do is i need to cut the power supply of a and give the power supply to the b in positive domain which means of i'm going to give the input to b1 and output to b2 which means of a positive polarity way in this segment now the rotor is just tilted with 90 degree of step angle and keep the position now the rotor stator s will attract the north north of the rotor and stator north will attract the south of the rotor because of this function a 90 degree of rotation 90 degree of step has been appeared here 
for the next diagram a third diagram see the below first one on this concern i can i'm not repeating the same function here i'm not giving the power supply to the a in the same mode i am giving the power supply to the a but in the reverse mode I, now i am going to give the input as a2 and output as a1 by negative flow by this process see the difference between in vertical order first and second diagram in vertical uh, in upper content uh, up, uh, in the first diagram the upper pole is south uh, below it is north the same angle in uh, see the third diagram the upper is north and below is south now the continuous uh, continuous part of rotation is appeared in the rotor part uh, of next 90 degree in the mari proceed pannala abadina enna agun pathina something power supply reverse pannada na a winding ki koduttana vanda position ke thirupi rotor move aayidum 0 degree 90 degree again it go to 0 degree to avoid this concern we can give the power supply on polarity basis that's all first one positive polarity a kudukra second one positive polarity b kudukra third one negative polarity a kudukra it will continue with the next, next 90 degree then fourth one again you have to repeat the same thing negative polarity b kudukra which means i am going to give the input to the b2 and I get the output of b1 on the negative polarity uh, again it will follow with the same 90 degree and it will complete the 360 degree so totally uh, for the resolution of 90 degree step motor is nothing but 4 this is the true table of that particular function see this diagram uh, for the content uh, first one i will give the positive power supply to the a phase 0 degree positive power supply to the b phase 90 degree then negative power supply to the a phase it will create continuous rotation of next 90 degree and it will become 180 degree then a next uh, negative phase negative power supply to the b phase it will continue the rotation of next 90 degree it is 270 again i will repeat the same steps one by one so the four steps are needed to complete the 1360 degree circle it is nothing but called regulation a second title uh, second operating mode of the permanent magnet stepper motor is nothing but two phase on mode <clears throat> now it is a simple thing we already discussed thing in discuss this issue on the reluctance now the same thing in previous sector i have a steps see here uh, in previous sector just a minute in previous sector see the gap is 90 degree uh, but the position is 0 90 degree 180 degree and 270 degree if I need a position of in between 0 to 90 and 90 to 180 and 180 to 270 means I have to go for two phase on position. It is also a one of the full step method, but the position is deferred when compared to off step and full step. So now consider here. Now I'm going to turn on the uh, content uh, when I give the power supply positive power supply to both the winding, which means of A1 as input, B1 as input means the rotor will lies between a and b winding it is nothing but 45 degree and next one is nothing but i'm going to give the reverse current to the a and positive current to the b which means of minus and plus it will occupy uh, lies between a and b in opposite direction so it is nothing but 135 degree then again i will repeat the same content uh, a and b are both are i will give the negative power supply and it will keep the position of in between the powers uh, a and b it is nothing but 225 degree then next one is nothing but the uh, same thing i'm going to give the positive power supply to the a and negative power supply to the b a negative is nothing but a reverse direction of current so now it lies between 3 15 degree celsius the same thing the fourth step it is nothing but a same 90 degree step angle but the position of stopping is deferred here the position of stopping is 95 sorry 45 135 225 and 315 it is appeared only by making a two phase on in different steps in previous sector the same it is also a full step 90 degree step angle but the position of stop is deferred 90 degree uh, 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree and 270 degree now you know now how we can produce the half step the half step is nothing but clubbing of this two thing i'm going to club all this content which means of this is nothing but a half step it is also called as alternating one phase on under two phase on mode 
we can re arrange the two previous two table in a single content <coughs> for a first positive for positive to the a phase it will zero degree and i will give the both positive to the both winding so it will 45 degree the rep the steps are same as it is repeaters now uh, the simple thing is i can club both the tables <laughs> one by one mm, in this order it will appear on this content now from this table it is called as off step mode in 90 degree 90 degree off of the value is nothing but 45 degree now it is has as 45 degree of step angle now it resolution is nothing but eight eight steps are required to complete a 360 degree that's all for this content so it is very simple to understand the concept once you study about the variable uh, reluctance stepper motor <coughs> permanent, permanent magnet is also a same scenario uh, but only thing differed here is a rotor part is made up of a magnetic material and you need one important issue on the operation you have your polarity of giving power supply is very important in the uh, permanent magnet content okay and uh, uh, here it is not a mic micro step is not possible here because I, we cannot able to vary the step content so you just study about the two titles here full step and off step mode full step you had a two title one face on and a two face on uh, this table is nothing but half step that means a alternative of one face and two face on that's all for permanent magnet stepper motor a third title is there people's it is nothing but hybrid stepper motor so it is a very special machine it is a stepper motor its step angle is very low uh, for example uh, for the variable stepper motor what we see it is a 30 degree of step angle for example only in permanent magnet we can consider as a 90 degree for example only people it's not a uh, condition the hybrid stepper motor it has a step angle of a yeah, integer value which means of a uh, three degree otherwise a four degree otherwise a six degree is possible by designing a hybrid stepper motor a least step value is achieved by the function of this hybrid stepper motor just discuss this content uh, how is it is possible means it is a very compatible one we are going to clubbing a uh, previous two titles uh, just recall uh, the operation of stepper motor is deal by uh, types here in previous we consider two titles one is variable reluctant stepper motor second one is permanent magnet stepper motor third one is hybrid stepper motor to design a hybrid stepper motor i need to club the two titles two machineries what is that variable uh, reluctant stepper motor and permanent magnet stepper motor this is the thing people see the diagram of hybrid stepper motor uh, hybrid stepper motor rotor part is there the rotor part is designed by two material one is ferromagnetic material which means of a similar to designing of variable reluctant stepper motor second one is permanent magnet material which is nothing but permanent magnet stepper motor by clubbing the two rotor I'm going to design a hybrid stepper motor that's all see the diagram the the portion is very important the the shaft is on in, intermediate it acts as a backbone and front end and back end of the rotor part is nothing but salient pole that is made up of ferromagnetic material and the same time it is not in a direct focus it is in a different focus content uh, the focus of salient pole is differed from front and back that is an important placement there then um, between the two stack uh, stack of ferromagnetic ferroma st uh, material uh, intermediate is nothing but a permanent magnet material so it is made up of a permanent magnet and permanent magnet should be on smooth cylindrical so that's all the content the hybrid stepper motor is made up of combining the variable reluctant stepper motor and uh, permanent magnet stepper motor to design this type of rotor part by using this content we can make the hybrid stepper motor to move with minimum step angle uh, with minimum least value of two degree three degree and four degree values that's all for the entire stepper motor this is the diagrammatic view of uh, hybrid stepper motor see the concern in this diagram 
uh, its stator part is nothing but your four poles rotor part is nothing but three pole only a three pole the three pole from front end and back end is nothing but three pole see the rotor part a dotted line is there now that is on the back side of uh, ferromantic stack uh, dark line is nothing but front side of ferromantic stack because of this concern we had a uh, now you you know about this thing uh, one should be uh, one should be look focus on one position and another should be focus on another position by the way we can achieve the minimum step angle here uh, that's all for the hybrid stepper motor just read out just consider uh, refer the book uh, 